Hey, this is Morgan Pratt with the JMAC for Congress campaign. If you're listening to this podcast, it sounds like you like JMAC. You can find out more about him by going to his Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe and rate us. Now coming up, more JMAC. Hello there, and welcome into another edition of the JMAC Podcast. Excuse me, it's been a very busy week, and we've been doing a lot here on the campaign, and something has jumped out at me, like a screaming banner headline. Uh, Here's how I've been spending my days. I spend the mornings either meeting with people or uh, calling people online, asking for donations and getting to know the voters. And then in the evenings, we've been going to open houses where we've been doing cottage meetings. People have been inviting us into their homes and they've been welcoming us in and I give a presentation and then they ask questions. There is a, a term that has come up four times this week and it has me very worried And it comes up more and more often. I've heard it on the phone. I've heard it in these cottage meetings. What is the term that has me so scared? Civil war. That's right. I've had four people this week tell me that they feel like we're heading towards a civil war in this country because our discourse has become so uncivilized and because we don't know how to disagree with each other any longer. And the only outcome is going to be civil war. Now, my friends, I understand the emotion behind this. As a matter of fact, this is the very reason why I left the radio to run for office so that I can remind people that it is possible to fight for your beliefs without the insults, without the personal attacks. All you have to do is explain yourself and what you believe. We don't need a civil war. This is what's crazy to me, is if you look at just about every metric in our society, you will see that our society is getting better, it's getting safer, it's getting more civilized in every aspect of life. The crime rate, the murder rate, the teenage pregnancy rate, everything is going down. We are progressing on a steady path to a better future. But for some reason, because our politics have become so ugly, so heinous, we're actually acting as though we're heading towards impending doom, as though our country is about to fall down. Why is this? Are these disagreements new? No, they're not new. You've had a strong pull from the left and the right since the beginning of this country. So this disagreement isn't new. So what's changed? What's changed is we've stopped fighting for our ideals in the battle of, uh, in the arena of ideas. That's what's changed. Nothing else has changed. We've just forgotten how to talk to each other. We've gotten so emotional that we can't have a discussion about the issues without somebody getting angry and and the insults and the attacks. Is this really how we're going to end things in this country? Well, we just couldn't agree any longer, so we decided to go to war. And then what? I mean, play that out for a second. Let's say there was a civil war. And let's say, for the sake of argument, that conservatives won the civil war. What would you do then? Would you force the entire country to be conservative? Or would you allow free speech? Would you allow people to disagree? Would you allow a constitution and a representative government? Civil war solves nothing. Because it is natural for human beings to disagree about how their government should run, about how things should happen. Civil war would solve nothing, and I can't believe we're talking about it. So my friends, as we head into the holidays, I want you to really think about where we're heading as a country. And I want you to believe, as I do, that we can return to civility. But the only way to do that is by choosing representatives and leaders who are willing to fight for their ideals, but they can actually tell you why they believe what they believe. They can actually defend their beliefs without the personal attacks and the insults. Only then will we return 
from this place where so many feel that the end of our country is near. I don't think it is. I don't think it needs to be. I just think that we have to choose better and wiser leaders. And I think that we have to just fight in the arena of ideas and change hearts and minds. So that is my message for you as we're heading into the holidays. We can return to civility. Civil war is not the answer. Please, please know and understand. We don't have to get to that point. We just have to choose better leaders. So I'll leave that with you. A reminder, I need your help. Please take a minute and go to our website, JMAC for Utah, and make a donation so that we can return civility to, to the national debate. I need your help to do that. Any donation, any amount will make a huge difference. So please support our campaign. Go to jmacforutah.com. Thanks for listening to the JMAC podcast. If you'd like to donate to JMAC for Congress, you can go to jmacforutah.com. That's jmacforutah.com.